to JC Vaping, I'm Perry and this is Mark. What's up guys? Happy New Year to you all, um, I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year. First video of 2017, sorry we've been away so long. So um, yeah, tonight we're going to be looking at the Kalito 120. Yeah, yeah, so it's been out for a little while, uh, it's just another one of those tanks that seem to be a real big hitter. Yeah. You've got the original Kalito and yeah. you still use it today. I do, I love it, I think it's great. I so it's uh, great. we thought we'd just get the 120 and see, see what the difference is. So uh, without further ado guys, let's jump down. Let's have a look at it and we'll give you our thoughts. Hi guys, Mark here. So, got the Kalito 120. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I got this from Amazon and it came to me from Amazon to my door for 21 quid. But we're gonna open it up and we're gonna see what's inside here. Like I said, we've had some dealings with the original Kalito, so we kind of know what we're gonna be looking at, but obviously instantly you can see that this tank is massive. Um, so we're just gonna set that out to one side. I love the way they package these boxes. However, if you ever try to put it back in the box, it's an absolute nightmare and you can't. So yeah, we've got the um, uh, Aspire Kalito 120 rating and user reminder. Um, this just basically tells you about your coils, tells you about the different, because there's so many different type of uh, e-liquid strengths and uh, mixes. Uh, they just give you a little bit of a heads up on uh, on what this can handle. But they, you know, as far as watts goes, it says it can easily handle 160 watts and higher. And then we've got like a, a warranty card, your standard warranty information with a QR code. And then inside, the one thing I do think is pretty cool is they give you a spare Pyrex glass and they give you another coil. And it's a 0.16 ohm, 100 watts to 120 watts. They are monstrous coils. Yep, 0.16. So they give you two coils. I think that's really, really cool. Wow, that's a really cool, really, I've just been blown away by the inside. We'll do an uppy closey on that bit there. So this is the Pyrex glass, no chips, nicks out of it, which is really nice to see. And they give you a cool little band. Uh, hashtag fight to vape. So yeah. Definitely going to be putting that on my tank. So yeah, what I'm going to do now uh, is we're going to zoom right in. I'm going to strip the tank down and then we're going to build it back up together like we normally do. And we're going to have a little bit of a talk about it, put some juice in it, and then we're going to give it a vape. We're up close and personal with the Kalito 120. So we're going to start from the bottom, work our way up like we always do, and have a little bit of a talk along the way. So uh, yeah, this is the bottom. Uh, just a push fit 510. Now, taking a quick look at this, this does protrude a little bit, but not a lot. This is definitely not hybrid compatible. So uh, please, 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 please bear that in mind. The it's it's big. It's a really, really big airflow uh, airflow control unit. Um, we've got three big, big slots. One, two, three. I would kind of have liked to see a clicky. I normally rock them wide open anyway, but you know I can't. It is tight now, but will it will it stay being tight? I don't know. Any time's going to tell. But um, you know, it's it's you know it's it's nice and easy to move. But um, I personally would like to have seen a clicky there. But hey, there you go. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is these coils. First of all, again, I mean all coils now that are coming out, pre-made coils are getting huge. I mean absolutely massive, and they're getting really technical as well. So you've got the wicking slots here. Uh, it's nice that they've put these wicking holes that go right down to the base of the coil. So this is going to wick right down to when you've pretty much run out of juice. Um, you've got this standard. Uh, uh, orange uh, o-rings that Aspire tend to use but on the inside you've kind of got this like um, tooth um, kind of section on the inside the only thing I can think of is that is some sort of sort of like anti spit back the other thing it seems to be doing is holding the coils in place so but um, they rate this from 100 watts um, to 120 watts uh, it's a 0 0.16 ohm air holes at the bottom and a nice solid uh, connector at the bottom so we're going to assemble that in just like so this just screws in guys always remember you know this just screws in you don't need any pliers or anything it just nips up just like so now as you'll see at the bottom here you've got this big silicon ring um, and I like that and the reason why I like that is because you can take your Pyrex glass and it just pushes over and that's it. I tend to push it over and just give it a little bit of a twist just to help it seat it uh, but that's such a big area um, you know it's 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 really really going to stop you know hopefully be completely and utterly leak proof there um, providing you've got a decent seal at the bottom of your coil and a decent seal here you know you you know you're good to go so the next thing that goes on is your top section this screws onto the top of the coil and it's also got an o-ring at the bottom now this o-ring is faced so it's kind of um, like a C shape uh, and that C wants to be facing your Pyrex glass and this just screws on normal thread 
like so. And again, this just screws up and just takes up onto the top of that orange o-ring. And you actually, if you hold it in place, you can actually just see where it's just nipped that o-ring. And that's it. You don't need to go any more than that. So yeah, the next thing is obviously in the top here, it's quite a small, I'd like to have seen maybe another filling hole. Uh, to be perfectly honest, and maybe they could have made that a little bit bigger, uh, but I would certainly have liked to see two. We all know what it's like if you try and drip down one side. It's especially if your juice is cold. It's going to fill up one side, and you're going to have to wait for that to float around. So personally, I'd like to see another hole the other side. But you know, there we go. You've also got your plastic drip tip, and then this just screws such an easy threading onto the top there. But uh, you know, there we go, and that is the tank assembled and ready to go. You know, aesthetically, it looks really nice. I got it in stainless. I don't know why. I just found most of my stuff are getting black and I just thought you know what I'm just gonna get it in stainless and I'm glad I did I like the contrast between the black and the silver um, you know and the stainless there and you know it looks it just looks nice it's really big um, I think it's measuring out you know it's yes yeah, it's, it's about 24 24 wide uh, overall length I'd say roughly about I don't know 58 maybe um, so yeah you know, it's a really wide bore trip tip actually, and that is internal diameter. It does chamfer down, so I'm going to measure it from the chamfer. So probably about 10 mil, 10 to 11 mil. Outside is about 12, 12 to 13 mil. So yeah, it's quite a big drip tip. Now, undoubtedly, I've seen that there's a lot of people out there that make drip tips for these. Um, so you're going to be able to put your custom drip tips on there. You know, no problem at all. But um, I'm going to fill it up, I'm going to put it on a mod, and we're going to vape it, and then we're going to tell you exactly what we think about it. Hi guys, welcome back up. So that was the unboxing and the up close and personal of the Polito 120. Now I have quite a lot to say about this because I used the uh, original Colito, um in vain, shall we say. I used it a lot. Um, but yeah, you did the unboxing, yeah. what do you think? Um, I really liked it, you know, even from the packaging to, you know, taking it apart, you know, looking at the coils to the threading to the build quality, everything's absolutely bang on with mm. this, this tank, yeah. it really is. I love the coils, you know, I love the tank, I love the size, I love the look, I, you know, I, you know, I haven't had a good, really good session on it yet, uh, that's what I bought it to use as like uh, my uh, everyday work mod, uh, yeah. sort of work mod setup kind of thing and you know I have no worries about it at all. No, really. no and you know what I'm, I'm, I'm pleased because to, to us it sounds like Aspire have actually listened to everything that wasn't not wrong with the original Kalito but could be improved with the original Kalito. Now if we start from the bottom up I haven't got the original Kalito with me, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure the original Kalito did not have three vent holes. This has good times. Nice one, Aspire. Now, the second the second point is that the, the coil inside, those little teeth marks, those little claw bits inside, I don't know if you saw it in the close-up, but I'm sure they are to prevent a lot of the spit back because you did get a lot of spit back. Yeah. Not a lot, but some spit back sometimes off the original Kalito. And then as for the top fill, that was my main bugbear with the, with the top fill. It was good that you had a top fill, but when you used to unscrew the other one, sometimes if the coil would get stuck in the lid and you'd end up pulling the coil out with it, the juice would splurge everywhere. So to split the top and have a section that you can just screw off and then pour your juice into that little liver fill hole, yeah. that's really good. I think I'd like to have seen two. Yeah. Slightly bigger. Yeah, probably. Yeah, um, yeah. Because yeah. of that, because of that thing, you know, when you've got cold juice this time of year, when you've got cold juice, it's really thick. Yeah. Uh, you know, you try to run it in, and it, it does take a while to go to the other side. It'd be quite nice to be able to alternate from side to side. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, that's just. I mean, that's a small little thing that I've noticed. Like you say, you can take the whole thing off and just go. Pfft. Yeah, exactly. So, I think it is a vast improvement on yeah. the original Kalito. Well done, Aspire. Thumbs up. So, guys, that was it. Thanks ever so much for watching. Um, I hope you're liking the videos. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we will see you in the next one. Take care. Take care, guys.